Final minute of normal time in Oriel Park. Dundalk seconds away from their fourth title in six years. It's Hooven! And Hooven gets it! Goal number 26 in a stanner season. So, Pat, what was your experience in England like? It was like a roller coaster, roller coaster journey, really. Um, a lot of ups and downs. At Oxford, you know, when I first signed, I kind of, I took my ankle in the first training session. I was out for three months, so uh, I didn't get the best of starts, but, you know, I had a good experience, too. Um, I learned a lot, learned how ruthless the game is over there, and, um, yeah, got two, at the end of the day, I got two promotions uh, with Grimsby and Oxford in one year, so, and I got to play in Wembley, so, you know, it wasn't the worst experience, but just not playing regular enough kind of halted my experience in England, really. I just said, you know, it's time to come home. Um, and uh, yeah, I was look, just lucky enough, Stephen, you know, I still had belief in my ability from the first time I was at Dundalk. And, uh, you know, thankfully, it's, everything's gone well. You must be nearly pinching yourself, like, now that we are recalling what you went through at the start of the season to where you are now. Like, it's quite surreal that you went from such a low base of fitness to breaking a record and scoring 26 goals. At the start of the season, I was saying to the press and at, at Dundalk, like, Dundalk are getting me at a good time and I'm getting Dundalk at a good time. And I fully believe that, you know, in my mindset coming back, I was like, I want to make things right. I want to get, make sure I'm right. Um, you know, I wanted to tear the league apart, to be honest with you, because just my experience in the UK in the two years and, um, you know, I just, thankfully, my confidence grew and obviously I scored loads of goals and, it's, you know, it was just great, great feeling. So when you were close to getting the record, you know, hitting 20, 21, 22 goals, was breaking it, was that on your mind? Yeah, um, because Evan was talking about, like I didn't, I wasn't like, the goals are going in, but I wasn't counting my goals. I was just like, I was happy enough to score and then everyone else was doing all these stats. So you see stuff on obviously social media and and even back home in Loch Ray, everyone's talking about it. Every time I went home, they're like, you know, beat the record, beat the record. And I was like, no, I have to beat the record, like, because everyone's talking about it. I, I, and then that actually drove me on. I was like, I need to make sure I beat, beat this record here. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd done it against Derry. You know, Jared already pulled off some great saves. And I was like, I'm not going to beat this record. So that's why there was such a relief when I scored against Pats. But um, obviously, we're beating the record. But obviously, with, you know, winning the league as well. And with the year and a half I had, I was just emotionally all over the place after that game and uh, it was just a great feeling, just a great feeling. And what for you is your standout moment so far? Standout moment? Um, well, it wasn't a really a turning point in our season, but the standout moment was Mickey Duffy's volley. That was outrageous. It was one of the best things I've seen. Um, that was definitely a standout moment. But I thought, obviously, the, the turning point for us in the season, season was how we reacted to the defeat against Waterford. Um, we went on a run of winning 16 games or something. I was 17, and uh, that was massive. Um, that's what won us the league, really. Um, I felt like the league was on the line every week, every time we played, every time we played, because we didn't start so well. So we had to make sure we had to keep winning, winning, winning. We scored a last-minute winner against Cork at home. Um, Christian Adorjan, who played a massive part in that game, he's not with us now. Well, he played a massive part in that game and obviously Ronan Murray coming on and with the great ball he put in and the OG, I didn't get given the goal so it was an OG is an OG but um, that was a massive turning point also. As people who watch the game we're always thinking about the rivalry between yourselves and Cork but from a player's point of view what's it like? like I remember doing an interview and I said it was, it's, a, it's always a spicy affair and it is. It, like, the games are totally different to what games you play throughout, throughout the season. Um, they're always, you know, full-blooded, um, everyone giving their all to win a game of football. It's like, you can nearly say it is like a cup final every time you play because, you know, there's such a bite to the game and there'll be no different come 4th of November. So, you know, we'd be expecting a tough game, um, but hopefully um, I, we can come up with the, the victory that day. It's international week at the moment. How much would you like to be in the Ireland squad? It's always been a dream to represent my country. I never got to do it underage, so, you know, if I ever got to do it at senior level, it would be an absolute honour. Um, you know, all I can keep doing is, I know it's the old cliche, is just keep focusing on myself and 
and my team and, you know, keep hopefully we have another trophy to win now come November and, uh, you know, I just want to keep putting in good performances and you never know what could happen, um, but yeah, I'd love to be in there. Obviously things didn't work out for you the first time in England, but is going back there something that you would like to do? It's like anything can happen in football, but, you know, I have another year at Dundalk and I'm, I'm really happy here, I'm really happy with the environment, with Stephen, um, with everyone, the whole staff, the team, like we're, it's just, there's not one bad egg in our team, like we all get on like a house on fire, um, we're all on the same page and uh, I'm just happy here at the moment, so, you know, I have another year, so looking forward to Champions League football next season.